Yo, what's going on? Volcano Beats live from the lab, baby. We here doing my fave five, and today we're going to do software samplers. Do me a favor. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click that like. Showing you content, beats, reviews, everything. About to be more consistent. We're going to get into it. <laughs> Everybody that knows me know I love samplers, and today I'm doing my favorite five samplers. So the first one I got lined up is Serato Sample. That's simple, right? This is one of my favorite ones. Like I said, it's one of my favorite five because it treats the sample just like if you've ever used DJ software or anything like that. You know that Serato has probably the best warp and algorithm there is. So to be able to have that type of power inside of your DAW, my DAW choice is Ableton. And Ableton is pretty dope with warping, but Serato takes it to another level. So I got a sample loaded up and basically just showing the basic features of Serato itself. You can basically chop samples on the fly. It's pretty nice. So I could back that up. Like I say, it's just like Serato. We can add our chops in there wherever we want. Boom. Boom. It's a short sample. Um, let me see. I'm in the wrong octave. Boy, we just gonna hit the button. <laughs> you see what I'm chopping. And what's cool about Serato sample is all of these different chops got their own parameters. So I can filter that one. Low or high pass, whichever one I choose. That one, I can speed it up. Or shift the key, I mean. That one, I can time stretch it. And this one I can play around with the attack and release of it. It's cool, you can do them all individual, or you can stop it, hit select all, and, and mess with all of them all at once. So I'm pushing a high pass filter on that one, and see how they sound. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Serato sample, I know, I've been using it for a couple years now. It's phenomenal when it comes to like just grabbing something and mangling it. The same way a DJ would, taking something up 20 BPM, down 30 BPM is pretty dope. My second selection on the list is the built-in sampler inside of Ableton. We're blessed to have something so powerful inside of our DAW. So with Ableton, like I said, I got already got my samples preloaded in. I got a sample from MSX. They're one of the dopest companies out here. And what's so cool about sampler it treats samples like if you've ever used like an ASR 10 or something from back in the day or any type of hardware rack samplers, you know, when you, you could dump, you record a sample in and you know, you can pitch it up and down according to the keyboard. So that's why I love using sampler to chop my sample. Sometimes it's not always the best with chopping samples. Cause that mean you got to load it up like 20 times and make different zones for it and all that. So it's not the best and most intuitive when it comes to chopping samples. But if you already got a little short two bar sample chop that you want to like kind of manipulate and do things to, it's one of the best tools because not only do you have just basic manipulation tools like start time end time things like that you also got filters and everything in here so you don't have to pull up another plug-in to filter the sample it's a filter in there so now and almost every one of these knobs inside of here is assignable so I can automate this stuff to do crazy stuff but yeah I love sampler and just like I say in with it being an Ableton instrument it's so much you can do with it they think of everything so you got so much control over just manipulating like I say even if it's just like a two bar loop I'm not going into chopping I think they have better options when it comes to chopping sounds but just using a, a eight bar loop and making it sound a little bit different sampler is one of my favorite five next on the list reason in the next T is my first love on the computer at least um, I learned how to program this thing a long time ago and it's been a go-to, especially now with a lot of softwares we have that 
you can convert things from in NXT to contact to Ableton, things like that. So if I'm super comfortable making zones and everything with my making up drum kits with different zones and all of this stuff within reason, then I could just make the drum program and convert it to Ableton or in NXT or just keep using it in reason. It's up to me. But in NXT is one of my favorite because like basically what I'm doing now, select zone via MIDI. So if it's stuff there already, if you're using sample programs that I already created, it's easy to just select one and just go in and start diving and start playing around with the pitch and filter and everything. Everything is separate. So whenever you click something, it actually like starts controlling that. The start time, loop time, all of that. This thing, it seems simple, but it's super complex when you want to get deep into it. And it can teach you a lot, man. I learned a lot back in the day, learning how to create sample programs for contact. So to be honest, it's one of those things that is powerful enough for a, a, an advanced person, but is simple enough for a beginner to start with and learn how to tap into this sampling thing that we call it. So... Yeah, NNXT is one of my favorite five. Next on the list, definitely, boom, Contact. Contact, I got a couple libraries loaded up. Um, Contact is one of my favorites because of this. It, may, it makes me feel like back in the day where we had racks with different sounds and everything. So that's what Contact gives me the feel because I can have up my whole Contact library loaded up right here and just go through it. It, it takes a lot of like extra memory and all that on your computer but it works it's pretty dope when you got to load it up i really don't do that that often because whenever i'm using contact it's like for specific reasons like something like this i'm using wave alchemy's revolution if i'm doing like some 80s synth wave stuff so yeah let me pull up just one of these i'm gonna pull up a le boom so yeah i love contact with the fact that basically it's limitless man you got companies like output that push it way beyond its limits <laughs> but you can have like well i'm not saying what like wave alchemy this is a super crazy complex contact library we got here but the power is beneath so being able to just go in here and tailor all the different sounds and everything and play around with the buses and all that then you learn how to script you can see they got lo-fi tape it's all type of stuff in there and this stuff is built into contact so if you want to get frisky and start building your own instruments all the tools are there so that's why contact is the king like is the best on this list nothing compares to contact because of this because of the fact that you can place things together and create whatever you want or you can just dump a sample into it and start manipulating so yeah contact is the king for that reason last on my list machina yeah it's the best um drum sampler in my opinion like they, you got other samplers well i'm talking about on the computer obviously software drum sampler because basically every pad is treated like its own sampler program that's why it's probably like the best drum sampler because i can bink, hit that dig into this real quick bink and now I got all those sampler parameters for just that sound. I can play around with my pitch, my envelope, everything, modulation for just that sound. So that's why it's so powerful when it comes to just dumping your sounds in. And this, the other facts that it has a lot of dope built-in effects with Machina. So Native Instruments, yes. I know I didn't put its counterpart, the NPC software on there. Because, man, I got so many NPCs, I really don't use the software at all. So... That's why it's not one of my favorite five. I haven't put any time in. All these other fives, I say at least two years each. I haven't put like more than two months worth of like time on the NPC software. So that's why that one is not on my list. But like I say, this is my list. This is how I use it. So yeah, Machina is probably my favorite program to like manipulate and mess around with drums in because it's so deep. Being able, like I say, it treats every pad is its own instance so go and hit that subscribe go and hit that like i have more content coming we're gonna get into all my favorite fives follow me volcano beats keep it going let's move and we would like to bring to you the stars of our show all the way to the